Act. Music is a non-profitable music company supporting original music for homeless and charities. Hey there, this is Mandy from 69X and this is vlog show number eight. Okay, so I missed the vlog last week simply because I have been meeting all of you amazing musicians out there and it's been absolutely brilliant. It's been a complete whirlwind, just met some amazing people and I want to show you some of those people on the show today. Okay, so you might recall me mentioning on a vlog a couple of weeks ago that me and Shiva Diva were heading up north to Sheffield to go and meet loads of bands and check out the place and see what was going down. Now, on our travels, the first night we popped into a pub and there was an amazing band playing. Um, the pub was absolutely rammed, to be honest. Um, truly brilliant music, great vibe, just a really nice energy about the place. And these guys are called Big Convoy. So I want to put a massive shout out to these guys. Um, they've got this EP, which is really cool. It's got four tracks on it. Um, so December, Strings Attached, Queen of the Fun, and Whatever You Think. Just truly truly brilliant and what I really love about this CD is you know I like my retro and this is totally retro it's a CD that kind of looks like a vinyl it's absolutely brilliant totally totally love it you need to check out these guys so all the music on the show today I'm gonna play by Big Convoy <laughs> Okay, so Big Convoy, they are from Sheffield, and just to mention the guys in the band, and I have to say I had a little chat with them after, but they were packing up, it was just totally bonkers, but really nice guy, John Batchelor, um, he's like the guitarist, lead vocals, um, Matt Well, and Joe O'Brien, and Tom Hudson. So yeah, big shout out to Big Convoy. It was big fun on the night, totally loved your music, you totally rock and I love your retro. <laughs> okay, so the next band I just wanna mention, I'm actually gonna feature on a TV show at the end of this month, but I just couldn't wait. I've gotta play you some of their stuff. They are truly amazing. I've been chatting to their manager, Sarah. Thank you so much, Sarah, by the way, for the messages, it's been brilliant. I'm totally looking forward to hopefully meeting these guys really, really soon. Totally brilliant band from London called Deviants. They're a rock band. The front man, Geo, is out of this world. There was something he said on one of his videos that music is like a ticket to his soul. I just love that, I absolutely love that. Just totally, totally got it. Um, now, the other guys in the band, just to mention, um, there's Donny on guitar, Jim on guitar, um, Ben, who's a resident supermodel, by the way, um, he's on bass, and Ollie on the drums. The front man of this band has got amazing vocals. I mean, he is truly brilliant. In fact, he actually plays in the uh, West End Bat Out of Hell shows. Um, he's just awesome, and he's got massive muscles as well. Girls, seriously, you've got to check this out. Now, I've been pumping up my muscles. I've been chatting to their manager, and I might offer him an arm wrestle. <laughs> I just wanted to give you a little sneak preview as to what these guys sound like and this is a little snippet from one of their songs called Holding Me Back. It's just out of this world, I love it. Okay, so I want to big up the amazing Scotty Tan who invited me to attend an event last week called the Cowbell Sessions, 
Okay, so this is Maddie from Sixty Nine X. I'm with the amazing Scotty Ten. Scotty Ten, tell us about the Cowbell Sessions. Cowbell Sessions was created in London. Okay. About ten years ago. Yeah. At Twelve Bar in Denmark, in Denmark Street in Soho, okay. which is now closed because it's fucking top of court road station has taken over. Yeah. So we started there, and um, the original idea was just not to have a jam night, but just to just get loads of people in the room and just say go. Yeah. That's what we're trying to portray. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. so we want people like all these young dudes and we've got old people here and things like that. So it's yeah. about a real mix of ages and sort of genres and I have to say it's packed in there. Yeah. And it's just a really nice vibe. That's why it's really laid back. Anything goes, anything yeah, yeah. goes and yeah. I think that you have to I want it to be like a club. Yeah. Instead of more like just like a like, party. Yeah. Like a pub. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm like. Yeah, yeah. So that's what we're trying to portray and I think everyone enjoys it, everyone interacts with each other. Yeah. It's brilliant and you're all here as well. Schmoozing, schmoozing, Scottish schmoozing. We called that before, but yeah, I can see where you're going. But um, uh, yes, excellent. It is really, really cool. No, thank you so much for inviting me. It's been amazing. And you've got those marquee shows as well, haven't you? Well, every month yeah. we do it every month. Okay. Um, we've got, um, this one, which is the main cowbell session, yeah. the loud one, yeah. and we're going to start um, an acoustic one downstairs yeah. every, every, oh, like every other one, two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, whilst I was at the amazing cowbell sessions hosted by Scotty Turn, um, I met some brilliant musicians and one of those bands um, was a band called Across the Sea. Now they are a alternative rock duo and they're from Worthing and the band consists of Hannah Lewis and Pete Ferguson. It was this brilliant meeting them, I had a really good chat. So just wanted to show you a little bit of the interview that we did on the night and a bit of footage from their gig. Here it is. Hello. How are you doing? All right, yeah. Yeah, so you were just saying that your band is kind of like prom, kind of prom. But you don't like to We would imagine it that, yeah, only it's kind of just the touch. Secret. Top secret. We've even got. We've even. We're even prepared for the next EP that's going to come out. Oh it's really? Gonna a, we can say it's going to be a trilogy, but like yeah. description. Yeah. So like three songs, but they're all like in one. Yeah. That's so cool that you're doing that. Yeah. That kind of music, you know. There's only two of you. No, I can't wait to hear it. Actually, I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. It better not be rubbish. Actually. It better not be rubbish. You've been practicing. Yeah, we're just going to play Wonderwall. It's all alive. Oh, is it? I think it's Summer '69. Yeah. Go okay, for it, man. But no, the main one's um, Facebook. Facebook, so, yeah. 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 Facebook.com slash UK. <laughs> Has to be UK. Has to be UK. 
that someone stole it. Who stole the safe? Excellent. Okay, well, we're going to hear a little bit from Across the Sea in a moment. And as I said, you can check them out on their website. Um, we're going to put all the links there now. Um, but yeah, it's so nice to meet you. And yeah, let's have a hug. We do hugs. We do hugs on 16 like this. We don't do, we don't do handshakes. We do handshakes and hugs. And hugs. Yeah, lovely. Okay, so while I was at the cowbell sessions, I was just bumping into musicians left, right and centre, and I bumped into these two guys. They are a band called Fly In, Fly Out. They write all their own stuff, obviously, because they're on this show. Um, the band consists of James on guitar and vocals, and also Paul, who's on bass and vocals. They're currently looking for a drummer, so if you know of any drummers in the Worthing area, please get in touch with 69X or get in touch with these guys. And I just wanted to show you a little bit of footage from these guys on the night. Truly brilliant, absolutely love it. Here's Fly In, Fly Out. <laughs> Now you might remember me mentioning a guy who's living on the street called Nathan um, who was kind of living on the street in Brighton and he put a poster up in a train station and he was looking for work. So here's an update. It's been quite tricky actually because as I said before, you know, some of these guys don't really have mobiles, they don't keep them switched on. But I have spoke to Nathan on quite a few occasions. We're still trying to hook up and we're going to try and sort some stuff out. Um, but he has actually got himself a couple of little jobs in the Brighton area, so he's kind of okay for the time being for work um, but again I'm going to try and hook up with him hopefully in the next couple of weeks that's what we've arranged um, and I will bring you an update as to how Nathan's doing and hopefully you're going to get to meet Nathan as well. So yeah big shout out as well to Crossover in Brighton um, I'm hoping to come and see you guys soon um, because in May we're going to start ramping stuff up. Now I also just want to mention um, Rift Taff Music who donated a load of t-shirts to, to actually raise funds for Crossover in Brighton. Now I've got the t-shirts, I'm going to put a little picture of it here now. Um, absolutely brilliant t-shirts they're going for a fiver um, if you want to go to the just giving page you can donate there and I'll post this t-shirt to you um, and thank you so much Ivan once again for donating those t-shirts okay so just want to mention a few gigs that are going on over the next few weeks and the first one to mention is at bar 42 mention that venue a lot actually I'm hoping to get in touch with them and see if we can do a 69x event there that would be truly brilliant um, but this event is on the 28th of April and it's got my old mate Spectral playing, also a band called Call Me Daddy and JTR. So yeah, here's the link and like the poster and stuff for that gig. Get yourself down there, it looks absolutely brilliant, 28th of April. Okay, so the next gig I want to mention is a great friend of mine, Stan, I've not seen you in ages. It's Stan Showcase, is at the Anchor Hotel in Horsham and he's got a great lineup. He's got, again, good friends of mine, not seen them in ages. Last time they played, I think, was in Brighton and they were playing um, the bagpipes, actually, that's right. Golgi Apparatus, absolutely brilliant. Love them, guys, <laughs> they're just truly bonkers. Also playing on the bill, there's Manafort, Steve Dawson and AKA Carol. So that's on the 29th of April and that's Stan Showcase at the Anchor in Horsham. Okay, so the next one that I just want to mention, I'm just putting a shout out for the Brighton Music Conference, which is taking place 
on the 25th, the 26th, the 27th and 28th of April. Now this is a music conference, they've got loads of influential people there, they've got radios, magazines, TV, um, loads of stuff going on, I might check it out myself. It looks brilliant. I think, you know, if you want to kind of find out about different stuff, I think it's about electronic music as well. Um, but all sorts of things are going on. So you've got to get tickets. So go to their website. I'll put the links down there, up there, wherever. But yeah, it's called BMC and that's at Brighton Dome and I think across some other venues as well. So yeah, check it out. BMC starts on the 25th. Okay, so finally, massive shout out to someone I mentioned on a few vlogs ago and he's called Callum and he is actually a film producer and he has written his own film called The Forbidden Note. Now that's going to start to be shown at the Hawthorne Crawley as of June and he's starting to sell tickets now so please check out the links below. He's got a little deal going on um, and he's doing some promotional stuff to actually win some premiere tickets. Um, he's absolutely brilliant. You've really got to check this film out. It looks absolutely brilliant. It's going to be shown quite a few times at the Hawthorne Crawley. So yeah, massive shout out to you Callum. Um, we're going to be meeting Callum actually. We've secured a little spot in the Hawth in the theatre when no one's in there. It's going to be brilliant. We're going to have a little chat because actually Callum does music videos as well. So I'm going to be chatting to him about my own music video. Um, and yeah, so really looking forward to meeting Callum. And yeah, check out his film. It looks brilliant. And go and get a ticket. Okay, so that's it for this week's vlog. I hope you've enjoyed it. We've got so much more going on over the next few months. It's just so exciting. We are absolutely taking this up to the next level in the next couple of months. I've been working really hard in the background, chatting to loads of people. Um, I'm going to be making more time for 69X as of May. So there's just going to be even more fun and craziness coming this way. Um, massive shout out again to Big Convoy, whose music that I played on the show today, underneath all of this. All of the other musicians and artists that I've met as well over the past few weeks, massive thank you um, for you know doing the interviews and actually performing. You're truly brilliant. Keep your messages coming in. Um, keep my spirits alive as usual. And yeah, I guess. I'll see you next week. <laughs> okay, so Okay, so 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 look like I'm about to get on a motorbike. <laughs> Ooh, <no. laughs> night night to remember <laughs> I actually quite like motorbikes. Is anyone out there on a motorbike? <laughs> um, I'm hoping we're going to get an interview with the, the interview with this guy. <laughs> What's my hair doing now? It's got a mind of its own, seriously. I think it's actually got a brain in every hair cell, and it just kind of does its own thing. We've done that one on the other show. You can't do that again. Okay. Not a good angle, that. Okay, so while I was like, well, slash, 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 in my head, all I can hear is the bangles music, and I think it's because I see my tambourine, but I can't do it. But it's like, <laughs> like a gremlin. <laughs> I'm a Walk like an Egyptian. 69X Music is a non-profitable music company supporting original music for homeless charities.